Assalamu alaikum. I'm at home now, but I had to put my clothes on just to vlog this for you because this week in the media has been just pissing me off, to be honest. I mean, the bigotry of it, uh, just, okay. Let me just turn this camera around and show you what I actually mean before I just keep rumbling. So here is one of the first news that I want to talk to you about. This is by Helsingin Sanomat, and which is, I think it's the biggest newspaper in Finland, but, but anyways, one of the biggest at least. This news says in the headline after uh, something around after six, mo six months of blackmailing and harassment, Anna gave up. Um, this is how a man who was basically wanting to have a residence permit from Finland forced a young girl into marriage. And this is the picture that they've chosen. This is the picture that they've chosen. And I read this news or this article from my mobile and this is the only picture that you get you don't get any explanation for the picture but now that I'm on my computer there's a mini com uh, there's a mini explanation for the videos uh, the picture it says Anna who is being here filmed or photographed under a blanket told that she felt the same type of darkness as when she was forced into marriage I mean, have a look at this one. Have a look at this. Even I, who basically dress like that almost every day, I try to. From, <laughs> I look basically like this from the back. So I even thought that this is about a sister, that this is about a sister and stuff. But guess what? It's not. What I understand, this is not about a sister. So this is just a regular girl who is being tricked, conned and manipulated and she's just being photographed under a blanket to be having this shape. I mean, what is the reason behind this? I mean, seriously, what is the reason for the journalist to choose this picture, this specific picture? And I didn't even realize that it was a blanket because in, on my, like I said, I read it on my mobile and it doesn't have any explanation for the picture. It just has the article and this picture. But when I went on Facebook, there was a lady, there was a sister who uh, shared a picture of a lady who said that uh, we should definitely put feedback to this journalist about this, that actually in, in the newspaper, it looks like it's a jacket hanged on a wall or something. But what is the reason, who, whose idea it was to film her or photograph her under a blanket like this to create this darkness effect. I felt the same darkness as if I was... I don't dismiss her suffering and her experiences one bit. I don't diminish that at all. What I'm against is using this type of portrait with this type of headline. It's on purpose. I just You can call me... Uh, you can call me sensitive. I don't care. You can call me like I'm overreacting. I really don't care. It's this is just ugh, this type of thing drive me crazy. Oh, and you know, maybe I should explain why I get so crazy about this type of thing because at the same on the same week it this all happened. I think during this week, and during this week I also read an article. It was about I think I have it here. It was about a study that UN or something similar like that was had made about Arab men in Arab countries. It was basically saying now like how Arab men beat their wives and harass women for fun on the street. And they don't want to change because that's their culture. They don't want to change that. You know, that was the basic message of it. It was like done by interviewing 10,000 Arab men and women. I don't know why do you, if you are making a study about men and how they feel, why do you interview women? But I don't know, maybe some of my university friends can, can clarify that. But anyways, take it 10,000 Arab men from Arab countries. This is like across the board, Morocco, Algeria, Palestine, 
Egypt, you name it. How many millions of Arab men are living in there? How many million Arab men are living in there? And then you take a 10,000 people, you interview them, and then you make this generalization on, on those. I'm, I know there's many university people who are like supporting that, that it was, it's done by the scientific measurements and requirements. I'm like, I don't give a heck. I don't give a heck. Like you are just making a generalization about men, about men. And what do you, what, what's, what's the reason behind this type of, you can make that type of, uh, you can make, yeah, this is going to be a rant. Definitely. I should warn you. This is a rant. This is a huge rant. Like you should make, you could make that kind of study about Finnish, Finnish men. You can make that study about Finnish men. Let's take one or 0.1 percent of Finnish men and let's look at the it just depends it's about luck and color that whoever you're gonna choose you're gonna choose the one who decides that it's okay to beat your wife and your kids at home because you're a man and they're less than you and you have the right to do that like seriously it's a non the stereotype of that the Finnish man is drinking, he's cold, he beats his wife and kids. And we could make that stereotype and make it live on. We could just take that stereotype and make it live on. We could just definitely do that. Why don't we do that? Because we know that the Finnish men are not like that. Because, because we know that not all Finnish men are like that. And that would be a horrible generalization. And... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, but no, 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 no. It's okay to make it about Arab men. So, okay, let, let me continue about this news then. Let me continue about this news. If I can, I'm not sure if I can find it for you. But this attack that happened in New York this week, it was in here. I, don't, I haven't read Al Jazeera or any of the other international news medias, but... In here, it was a uh, headline, something like the worst attack in U.S. since 9-11. Worst attack in U.S. since 9-11. Eight people died. Eight people died. This is how fast they want you to forget what happened in Las Vegas. If you haven't already realized that the media can have and will have effect on you, then this should be a wake-up call. And if you still don't, then... May Allah help you, because, because seriously, white man in his 50s that they call a grandfather in the news, they don't call anyone else grandfathers or fathers or brothers or husbands in the news. No, 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 no. They call this guy a grandfather, a happy, normal grandfather, just decides to take his automatic weapons to a hotel room and bust out the windows and start shooting everybody just not even randomly just he planned this all he had several automatic weapons he had ammunition he had even explosives in his home his car in his hotel room and he he wounded something like 200 people and killed roughly 60 people no 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 but but this guy who drove a car and he killed eight people that's called the worst attack in U.S. soil since 9-11. Well done, USA. In what? It's been like 16 years since 9-11? 16 years. Eight is the biggest number of casualties that anyone, mass shooter or anyone else, anyone attacking people have been causing. Well done, USA. This is how they want you to forget the, the domestic dangers that are happening in your soil. This is what it is. This is what it is. The same in Finland, the same in everywhere else. And this attack in New York that just happened recently, it's immediately suspected to be a terrorist attack. They immediately call it a terrorist attack, but the Las Vegas never was called ever, ever, ever. It was called a terrorist attack. Never. Not that I heard of. Not that I saw anywhere. And I read quite a lot, but I never 
heard it's being said a terrorist attack. No, but before the investigation even starts, you make assumptions on people's, on people's uh, heritage, on their background, on their looks. You decide that's a terrorist. It, for media and for everybody else these days, terrorist equals Muslim, Muslim equals terrorist. So yay, yay for us, yay for us. That's so fun. That's so fun. Like, oh, seriously, this like, and this, this, this newspaper that I just showed you the article about this girl with this picture on. I mean, they've had low moments, like they've had series of low moments, even they are the, the highest, highest and top uh, newspaper in Finland. They've had their lows. And if Muslims still don't see that, I mean, I mean, seriously, no wonder non-Muslims hate us. No wonder, no wonder non-Muslims think that Islam is the most hateful religion ever. No wonder that you think that we are oppressed. No wonder that you think that we are the most horrible human beings on this planet and the biggest threat to the human society all after, after, like since, since asteroids is Muslims. No wonder you do that because if you are blinded, if you're only inhaling this news and these images, no wonder you're going to start hating people like that. There was also, I saw a clip of, a, it, it was a program in here. It was a long time ago, but it was a program in here. And they were talking about terrorism and ISIS and terrorist attacks and all these type of things. Guess what picture is on the background? A still picture is on the background when, when an expert is talking to the journalist. Guess what picture is in the background? There's a picture of a sister with niqab on. Someone who looks like me, basically. This is what's happening. You talk about terrorism, you show our pictures. You talk about terrorism and you show our pictures. And you talk about oppressed women, you talk, show our pictures. And that's it. Image is created. And this has happened, this has happened since 9-11. It has happened before that. But it's been in increase since 9-11. And it's just like, this just really bugs me. Seriously, journalists and in Finland they are so proud that they are so that they are so not biased, that they are fair for everybody, and that they include uh, news articles about us as well and by us and whatever. Man, you need two or three positive comments in order to override a negative one. So this is the same. For the news, whatever. Seriously, what's going on in this world? So, as sisters and brothers too, but as sisters because we are more visible, I guess, and more considered to be oppressed, we really need to be strong. We really need to get our act together. We really need to be patient and just, just breathe. Let, just, just breathe, just try to be the person, awesome person that you are and try to, with your presence and your manners and your work that you do, no matter if it's at home or school or at the workplace, just we, have, we have to be the messengers of this, this thing because people, we are out with the people, we are among the people. And there's a lot of people who are afraid of us and who hate us. And they have complete misunderstanding of us and our religion. And it is just a big struggle for us. And we have to just be the best examples that we can be to show them that, no, actually, no, no. We refuse to submit to this image that the media is creating about us. We refuse to submit to that. We submit only to Allah, like we, I refuse to submit to this crazy, crazy biased picture that they are making of us, of being trash bags and all this sorts of crazy stuff. I refuse to submit to that. Peace out.